Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a review of the Alpha H Liquid Gold with Glycolic Acid. So if you are looking for a chemical exfoliator that will target fine lines, dull complexion, pigmentation, then keep watching and I will give you the lowdown. I really wanted to do this video because in the past, I haven't had the best relationships with acid and I haven't been able to kind of use one regularly in my skincare for a long period of time ever, I don't think. Um, the reason being is that when I first start using an acid, um, I feel like my skin looks really good and I like the results, but then kind of the second week, I feel like my skin starts to look just not so great. It starts to look a bit harsh and it loses that kind of softness and the plumpness and my fine lines become more visible and I just generally don't like the results and I stop using one and then I kind of introduce one very occasionally but I haven't been able to kind of get those results that everyone talks about that kind of glowy plump skin until I started using the glycolic by Alpha H that had a completely different effect on my skin. What I found with this is that rather than making my fine lines more um, visible, it actually kind of plumps them up and diminishes them and it makes my skin look really nice and glowy and hydrated, which I'm actually really pleased about. So I've been using it consistently for a couple of months now and I'm super, super happy with the results. So I kind of wanted to do a review on it in case you guys had been, um, experiencing the same type of thing as me with acids. It seems quite unusual because I know most people rave about them, but I feel like um, this one in particular works very differently from regular acids. In the past, I've tended to use more uh, lactic or salicylic, which are both really good, but I think that they tend to work more on the surface, whereas glycolic has got a smaller molecule, so it tends to go deeper. And I think that that's what I need in terms of an acid is something that's going to go deeper and not work on the surface so that it will kind of work from the inside out and not keep like taking the surface layers off, which I think just doesn't agree with my skin. It just makes my skin look more aged and not great. When you first apply this, it does give you like a bit of a sting. I've actually grown to love that about the product. It stings a little bit. I don't know why I love it, but I do. So yes, you. this is like a liquid, so you apply it with a cotton pad and then you just put it all on. Um, I don't know if I would say you can use this on its own. I know some people do. I personally just need to go on with some other kind of serum. So I tend to use some hyaluronic acid, something with peptides in, some kind of like hydrator repairing kind of moisturizer or serum afterwards with it and definitely a little bit of eye cream as well. So I kind of don't um go over that immediate eye area with it but it yes it's quite strong so if you are new to glycolic acid then you might want to start with something a little bit milder the brand recommend that you use it every other night i kind of i think i used it maybe like once maybe twice a week i yeah probably twice a week when i first started using it and now i use it every other night and i rotate between this and my retinol so say on monday i'll use a retinol and then on tuesday i'll use this um at first i was just using it on my face um but now i'm kind of using it down my neck as well and i'm really happy with that um i've had no problems with it so with continued use i've got those results that everyone talks about from an acid, my skin's kind of plumper, glowier, even complexion, um, and yeah, just generally looks more radiant, and I'm really, really happy with it. I don't know if it's just a case of, I should have been using glycolic acid ages ago, um, but I just feel like this formula really, really works for me. In terms of price, I feel like this is good value for money. It's definitely not the uh, cheapest glycolic acid that you can get. On Cult Beauty, it's roughly £33. You get 100 ml of product, and I feel like it will last quite a long time. But what you're also getting for that is kind of like a balanced formula in that it's kind of got hydrating ingredients in it. It has also got um, ingredients that will counteract the potential irritation that you can get from using a glycolic acid, especially one like this, which is slightly stronger. So that's quite good in that it's not just the acid, it's 
kind of a whole formula that will um, kind of nourish and hydrate your skin and anti-irritants in it as well. The only thing that I wasn't super happy about is that there is alcohol dennet in the formula, which is a drying alcohol. Um, that is not generally something that I would want in my skincare. And if I had initially known that before I started using it, it definitely would have put me off. The reason why I went straight in with this is because I've had really good um, feedback on this. There's been so many good reviews. It's probably the hero product from Alpha H. Um, so I just kind of was quite excited to go straight in and use it. It's not a new product, it's been around for a while. Um, I'm not sure why they put that in there, but I've used a few different products from the range. I actually uh, reviewed the multivitamin super cream, which I will link up above. So in regards to the brand, I trust the brand. I'm sure that there is a good reason why they put it in there. And, um, you know, the other reviews that are out there speak for themselves. But if you are adamant that you do not want a drying alcohol in your formula, then this will not be right for you. And um, I could understand why you wouldn't. But if there are any kind of products that you would like to recommend that perhaps I should try next time, then please let me know in the comments and I will definitely look into them and consider them for next time. I think that I've covered everything that you need to know about this product. If you've got any questions, just let me know. Um, I did write a kind of quite a solid researched uh, piece on acids in general and that covers all the different acids from lactic, mandelic, salicylic, all of them basically that are used from the kind of more well-known ones such as glycolic and salicylic to the slightly lesser known acids. I researched them and did a blog post on that so I will link that down below so you can reference that and perhaps find out which acid is best for your skin type and that will help you in choosing products for yourself in the future. I hope that was useful. If you've got any questions or you want alternative product recommendations, then leave me a comment down below and I will help you out. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.